Hello everybody and welcome back to the Minecraft modding tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add your own custom texture using Forge. So for this you need to create your own sprite sheet, which I'll explain what that is in a minute. And you also need to add a few methods into your block class or your item class, whichever one you want the texture for. And you also need to preload some textures. So the first thing you'd want to do is you need to go into your client proxy class and then you need to add this just here at side only open bracket side dot client and what this is saying is this this uh, this bit of code will only run if you're running the client so because forge is universal so you can have the mod on server and client if this was on the server and this this bit of code wasn't here, it would run this on the server and then incidentally it would crash because this is not actually on the server because it's not needed. So you need to add this or your server will crash. So once you've done that you need to space down in the public static void register render information and you need to add this line minecraft forge client client dot and if I just do this and then you need to uh, it's dot preload texture so now you've got that texture you also need to import minecraft forge client which is just done for me automatically and inside here you need to put two speech marks then you need to put a slash and then the directory of wherever wherever your item texture is going to be so if you just wanted to have the file uh, where the terrain.png would normally be then you can just do name name it and then texture.png but if you want to put it in a folder then you just name the folder so I'm just going to name it forge toot and then you do another slash and that will put it inside a folder and I'm going to name this block ok and you can do this as many times as you want so if I wanted I could do another one and make that item and now I've got two preloaded textures and if you look at the java dot for preload texture it says preloaded texture the texture must be preloaded before first use or, or they will call visual anomalies so once you've done that you need to go into your block class or your item class whichever one you're doing and you need to add a constructor and this constru constructor is public void no public string get capital T for texture, get texture, and then capital F for file, get texture file, open brackets, nothing inside them, and close them. Then you need to have a squiddly brackets and make another one of them. And then you need to return open brackets. And now what you need to do, you need to copy the the bits inside the colon for whichever text you want that to take it from so I'm going to put that in there put a colon at the end and yep that is the right method and there is one more thing we need to do for this block we need to add this side only side client again because we don't want the server rendering out this texture because it doesn't need it and it will just crash so once we've done that we can also add it to an item if we wanted but as you remember I made this special texture for the item so I can go ahead and change that to item.png and it has to be PNG and now what you do you need to go ahead into any image editor or photo editor or something like that and I'm just using game maker because it's really the best that I'm I've got and it's still pretty good anyway so you need to create a new image and 
it needs to be resized to be 256 pixels by 256 pixels so once you've done that you'll need to create your picture and I'm just going to resize this grid so it's actually the size of the picture and as you can see that is 16 pixels by 16 pixels so you can do whatever you want in there you can so I'm just going to make it a green square with white in the middle yeah that's good and I'm gonna save this and then you need to save it wherever your directory for the well your Eclipse and MCP so once you've found it you need to go into the Eclipse folder then you need to go into Minecraft bin and then here as you can see we've got the net forge tutorial is that's what we created our package when we created our package just up here just there forge tutorial and as you can see now the texture where we said it wanted to be was forge tutorial so we actually need to save it in the same place as where all our classes are so we can now go back to your editor and you need to create the folder if it's not already created you go in there and you save it at whatever at whatever this bit was called here so that's block and let's just make sure it's called block block yep and then you can save that and it has to be 256 pixels by 256 pixels so as you can see you can have a hell of a lot of sprites I'm not sure how many that is but there's 16 by 6 yeah 256 sprites that is so you can have 260 256 pictures and now I'm going to create the item one so I'm just going to cut that out and I'm going to create an item and I'm just going to write hi because <laughs> not very creative and then I'm going to save that as item I think it was item yep item so we can now go ahead back to your photo editor and save that as item and now if you go ahead and run minecraft and I'm gonna run the server as well just to prove it doesn't crash Ah, uh, it doesn't have enough Java thing, Bob. But this is working. I'll just have to start the server in a sec after it's loaded up the client. Let's try now. Error. Okay, let's see. With you. See whether we can run the server. Yep, here we are. So this is the client that's just loading up, and here's the server. So if we just watch the server, let's just hope it doesn't crash, that I've done everything right. Start in Minecraft server. Still loading. Let's just change my power setting. Everything's not responding for some reason. Ah, here we are. So as you can see, it hasn't crashed and it's preparing the world. And my client's crashed. Let's just close that. And let's put the client back up. clients oh the client didn't crash okay so now we can go into multiplayer the servers registering then we can go ahead onto it 
and it hasn't kicked us or anything. So we can go ahead and op ourselves. So it's op player 224. And there are wolves barking in the background again, just like last video. And I'm just going to game myself, so game mode 1, it's player 224. So, let's just find our items. So, decoration blocks, I can't remember where we put them. Aha, forge block. This is our block, and where do we put our item? Let's just look for forge. Ah, forge item. So, you may see, think, oh, well, it's invisible. But, that isn't. It's, it is invisible, but to fix that, what you need to do is just quit that. You'll need to go into your common proxy. And if you go here, you see we've, we've set icon index to 1. And this is set to 0. So this is the equivalent of icon, icon index for the block. So that's set to 0. And what this does is these little squares are named uh, numerically so this one here is number 0 number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6, number 7, number 8, number 9, number 10, number 11, number 12, number 13, number 14, number 15, number 16 and so on and you can choose which text you want it to have by changing either this bit here or this bit just here. So I'm going to change that to zero because that's the one that we want. And we could change that to whatever we want, but it's set for the right texture, so we don't need to change that. And now I'm just going to start up the client again to check that we've got our texture working. Here we are. So let's go into multiplayer and then we can go into the server. So we need to op ourselves again because my username keeps changing. And let's game mode ourselves as well. There we are. So now we can go ahead and find that forge item. Now there it is. So as you can see, I've got my random high texture, it's working fine, and we're on the server, and it hasn't crashed or anything. So I hope you all enjoyed this guys, and I hope it's been informative. My name is ProPersonalAlb, peace out.